Today I'm doing good, I'm doing great because we're laying out the plan for the future, babe. The future. Future. It's bright and shiny. And the future of publishing is self publishing. Traditional publishing houses are dying left and right. That's not a good sign. Bottom line is, it is 2015, and thanks to technology, these giant corporations and houses and publishers are becoming more and more obsolete. As artists, we no longer need these third parties that come and represent us and take credit and compensation for all the work that we're doing. Instead, we can do it all ourselves, and this is how. So, if we're going to compete with the big kids, we have to first analyze what they do and their process and the whole thing and pick it apart. Study their formula, what makes them so successful. Through my experiences, it seems that publishers take on nine or ten roles, and these are they. First thing they do is acquire, this is pretty straightforward, they get, they just take the manuscripts, the editors of the houses. We'll get a whole bunch of submissions throughout the year from mostly Asian-ted uh, writers, and then they will narrow that list down to about 20. So then those 20, along with the other house editor choices, will become the only books that those houses publish during the year. Two is plan. Pretty straightforward, they just plan how it gets from manuscript to the shelves. Three, edit. Most important part, because no manuscript is perfect. No manuscript is perfect. Remember that. It'll make you feel better about yourself. Four, design. We're talking cover, we're talking formatting, we're talking, you know, overall aesthetics, look of everything. But art direction, if you have a picture book, that's where that is. Copy editing, this is secondary editing, it's more specific, hawk-eyed. Um, you know, they go in with a with a fine-tooth comb to look at every little piece of grammar and every little punctuation, everything to make sure everything is in its place. Because you don't want to have a published book with a mistake in it, that is just so embarrassing. Many times this editor will be different from this editor. They have different personalities, different tastes, <laughs> everything. Um, this is larger, like character development, plot, flow, things like that, where this is all very microcosmic. The next role they have is to manage the production. This is like where all the materials are going to come from, what kind of paper you're going to use, and what the hardcover is going to feel like. Is it going to be a creamy? Is it going to be a embroidered? Is it going to be, you know, all of that stuff. That's right here. And then they distribute it. How many books are going to go where, and yada yada. And the promotion, sometimes two steps broken up into how third parties know about their books like libraries and schools and bookstores versus the public, which is marketing and promotion. But it's all the same shit, so I just lumped it all together. <laughs> because that sort of nitpicky shit really isn't that important to us. Let me just get that back, I'm not done with it. Um, so looking at all of these things, a few years ago, the publishing houses were the only place you could actually fill all of these roles on a competitive level. But! Not anymore! Today, there are talented editors, graphic designers, cover artists, formatters, marketers, all of that out there, freelance, for the same quality that the publishers provide, or even better if you want to do your homework. You know, it's not 2002 anymore. The internet's a thing. So I'm personally obsessed with YouTube, kind of, obviously, and I looked at all of these incredibly successful YouTubers as a very great example of what I'm talking about here. These creators are bringing their content directly to their viewers without the need of third parties, agents, managers, and you know, everyone else who just wants to siphon a cut just so they can promote you. These people can promote themselves. Look at PewDiePie, okay? I just read an article about him saying that nobody can come close. He hasn't done any interviews or anything because he doesn't need that sort of publicity. He's got over 30 million subscribers that no magazine or any other media tycoon can come anywhere close to those numbers of viewers or readerships or whatever. This is becoming the age of the entrepreneur. If you're willing to do it all yourself, that is. And also if you're willing to pay for it all yourself. Because yes, all the services that the publishers provide you now have to pay for out of your own pocket. But not all of them. Don't be intimidated by this gigantic list. 
since we are rocking it ourselves, we're doing it all on our lonesome, we don't need, we can skip a few couple of these steps. For instance, a choir, we already know which ones we're doing. We're doing our own, only the one. So that's gone. Planning, we're doing that right now, check. Editing, I've already said how important that is. That is a must keep. Designing, yes. Art direction, we can, you know, we can lump these together. We can definitely lump these together. We don't need a separate committee for those. Trim the fat, keep it light. Uh, copy editing, yes. Yes, very important. Probably want a different editor than this. Managing production and distributing, usually, okay, I'm going with Amazon and they are going to be handling all of these things so I don't even have to worry about none of it. If you want to buy the ebook, you just get your Kindle and download it, yo. If you want to buy a real book, you just order it and they'll print it and ship it to you. There's also the option to get it into a brick and mortar bookstore. And then selling marketing and promotion, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Very important, most important. This is killer. Killer. So all that's gonna cost you some money, but if you watched my previous videos, you know that if you wanted to take traditional publishing seriously, that's not free either. Let me just make this quite clear. If you're in this business for the money, you better rethink your priorities. Because writing is about the art. And art is suffering. But enough about suffering, let's talk positives. Number one, more money. Yeah, you have to put more money in, but you do get more money out. Again, it's not a driving factor for me, but for a lot of people it is, so there you go. We're talking 70% royalties from every ebook sold, 60% royalties from every regular book sold, versus traditional publishing, which is like 1 to 6% royalties after you pay back your advances. And after you pay back all the money it costs them to put the book into stores. Which, if you don't reach that benchmark, you're not gonna see any royalties. Two, control. For me, this is key. I get to do everything myself. I can hire all these people, these editors, these graphic designers, these it's all up to me. Read their resumes, you look at their previous works, their successes, their failures. You are employing these people, as opposed to traditional where you're kind of both employed by the publishing houses, and you get no say on what to do. Basically, you lose 90% of your creative control with traditional publishing. Three, speed. Traditional, one to two years after houses have accepted that they are going to publish your work. With self, you're on your own time scale. If you want to skip all the important steps like editing and whatever, you can you can upload your manuscript to Amazon Create Space right now and have the book tomorrow. No, I wouldn't advise that. That's not what I'm about here. We're about doing things right and professionally, competing with these bastards. Four, rights. Traditionally, you get them all taken away from you. You own almost zero intellectual, I mean, it depends on the contracts, but you own almost zero intellectual property. But with self-publishing, it's all yours, babe. You did it all yourself. All of this is yours. And five, and five is avoiding helplessness because when I was stuck in the rut of traditional publishing and just spinning my wheels and not going anywhere, that was terrible. And then finally when I did go somewhere and it wasn't what I expected and they were just ripping all my rights away from me, I was like, like this. <laughs> I'm just a cog in the machine, but now I am the machine. Okay. So now that we've abbreviated our to-do list, and we're becoming our own CEO of our own publishing company, we have our own to-do list here. Number one is editing. Hire a great editor. You can find them on the internet. A great resource for this though is Publishers Marketplace. There you can see who's making deals, who's editing books, who's selling, yada yada. You can see their resumes, what type of books they edited before, how successful they were. It's a great friggin' resource. That's how I found my editor. After your editing is done, or when it's nearing completion, you want to look for a graphic artist to do your cover, and also your interior formatting, because you don't want all these problems when they view it electronically on different formats. You don't want shit to look all crazy, so you want to hire a professional to do this for you. Three, publishing distributing. Like I said before, Amazon will handle this for you. And then marketing is a whole nother beast in and of itself. Like I said, it's make or break. You have a great book, but nobody knows about it. Nobody's gonna read it. So I'm gonna have to make another video about that entirely, since this one is too long already. 
But yes, as I reach each milestone, I will make videos about each one going more in depth and all of that good stuff. I didn't want to leave you hanging. I want to give you all the deets. I want to be as transparent as possible so that I can be as helpful as possible. Because I would have wished that there were this resource out there for me when I was just starting out and I would have cut like two years off of my timeline. But, no regrets. <laughs> Wouldn't be where I am today without having gone through and trudged through all of that shit in the past. So, yes. Wish me luck. I wish you luck. And I'll see you soon.